Welcome back to Baseball Rambles, everybody. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, getting ready to celebrate the holiday season. If you haven't hit like or subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate your support. Still new YouTuber, so the best way you can help me out is by hitting that like and subscribe. And I give away prizes to subscribers just to say thank you for watching. So you're going to get in on that as well. So what is going on in San Francisco? That's right. I knew they wanted to make a big splash in the outfield. I thought they'd be battling the Blue Jays over Bellinger, but I guess that's going to be the Cubs. And in doing so, I then did a vlog suggesting they'd make a trade for Christian Yelich. And now Yelich's trade talk is blowing up, but not with the Giants. With the Blue Jays? We'll get into that vlog another day. Giants, however, did make that splash. They signed Lee that outfielder, 25 years old, from Korea to that big deal, six years, 113 million bucks. But the Giants aren't done that done yet, pardon me. They still want an outfield DH. They want that person to be a lefty. And in doing so, it makes a lot of sense for a reunion. Well, I don't want to say reunion. He was there last year. Jock Peterson, that's right. He accepted that qualifying offer of just over 19 million bucks, was hoping for a big year to get a big payday, and that didn't really happen. Outside of dealing with injuries that led him limited to just over 350 appearances behind the plate, he hit a kind of a pedestrian 235 average, 84 hits, 15 home runs, so some power there, and a small 764 OPS, so a 0 0.6 war. Kind of on average, though, for Peterson. This guy owns a lifetime average of 237, I know everybody was saying down year, but it just kind of seems to be average for him. It's like everybody's suggesting Matt Chapman's going to have a huge year. It's not going to happen. But back to Peterson. This guy is not going to get the big payday. I don't think he's going to risk doing another one-year contract, hoping he rebounds. And at best, he's going to get a two-year deal. The only shining silver lining from Jock Peterson's year last year with the Giants was his walk rate. It was over 13%. So, maybe him being 32 next season, a bit of an older hitter and a lefty, has given him that patience behind the plate. However, when he's swinging and making contact, it's still not good contact. That's why it's going to be a two-year, maybe 30 million bucks, maybe a one-year 15 if he gets lucky, but certainly not a three-year contract or five-year that he was really hoping to get done. So, Jock Peterson, back with the San Francisco Giants, two years, 30 million bucks, mark my words, might even get done just after Christmas. You think I'm wrong there? Let me know in the comments below. Always love to hear how you disagree, or agree maybe. If you haven't hit like or subscribe, please do so. But more importantly, stay safe everybody, and we'll ramble on soon. Take care.